Take this hostile fleet. Oh no, his 8.2 <laughs> has arrived. Hang on. No, run we, away! Uh, right. Oh yes, Blade of the Huntress. What I forgot. What does this one do? I uh Yeah, so when it's active, my ships go faster. Oh, very nice. But it's a sword. Huh. Like a like a physical Yeah, it's a literal sword whose passive effects are more uh, armor morale plus 25% planet sector uh planet sector a uh, sensor range plus 2 diplomatic weight plus 10% but when i activate it i get the uh, the modifier blade of the huntress which for 10 years makes all my ships 25% uh, faster in space that's kind of wild how does a sword make your ships faster i don't know give also given the <laughs> fact that i'm a robot <laughs> all right oh did they trap me i think that might have trapped me let me, um... Am I trapped? Bangs on the wall. Yes. Yes. <laughs> I gotta see where they go. If they follow me to, uh, Nijil, then, uh, that's okay, because I can go around them and then leave. Oh, uh, but this isn't good that they're chasing me, because... Council agenda. Oh, a peace offer. What? Hey. Yes. Give me peace. Oh, uh, where's the principality? Who are these people? Oh, these. Okay, well, it seems your allies have started um, manifesting psionic potential. Heck yeah. Psionic blast these fools. It's <laughs> just... <laughs> oh, I can't move away. No. I'm going to be trapped here and they're going to get me. Please, kill the station fast. Okay. Uh, Hang on, sorry. Research complete. Move. Go fast. Special Move faster! Complete. Right. My allies had a fleet of 400 power <laughs> against an 8,000. That works. Oh Give me the peace offer, please. Oh no, that's a completely different... Why are they giving me notifications about a completely different war? Because you're, it's, and now I've been insulted. It's the news. Yeah, basically. Run. It was a uh, successful attack. That's so I was good at the very least. That. Yeah, and we didn't actually die, so it was good. All the dang Camarian Star Tribes are asking for tribute again. Yeah, I don't think either of us are really strong enough to fight them. I agree. Complete. Um. Have some energy. Like, the ones near me, like, average fleet size... Well, I mean, actually, a lot of them are, like, 220, 299, 299, 4K, 4K, 7K, 10K, 10K, 9K. It's like, Special no, not right now, thank you very much. Uh, <laughs> and I have just finished modifying my species. Space-born life form encountered. Go to the location. Where does this go? Well, it's all the way to the other side of the galaxy. Somehow the enemies have mustered another 2.4k fleet. Oh God no! Dang it. They're up to like almost 10k. No, what? it is 10k. <laughs> I can't. I can't help that this is kind of mirroring um, uh, Hearts of Iron 4, where you were just at war forever before anything happened to me. Right. <laughs> Hurry up and get over here so we can. We can. It's like, I can't do anything. I can't, like, <laughs> join or, like, propose an alliance or anything until you f go to peace first. That's the problem. Ugh. And I can't go to peace because uh, the other guys are at war. <laughs> Sucks. Die faster! <laughs> yeah, it's so stupid that I can't sue for peace because they're they're the, the main defender. Like, come on. But sadly, my uh, little prod uh, to kill their 2k stack oh, oh has... No. Oh no. Who are these? What just happened? What? Did... um Did... Pe did... Humanoid conglomerate. Hive... Wait, so yeah, your neighbors are hive mines. Did... This is a mega... A mega corporation... 
Did, were they like conquered before and they just finally broke out? I I don't know. Have, you you see the humanoid conglomerate there, right? The yeah, I I that watched suddenly... them break out. Right. They're a mega corporation, but they're peaceful traders. Are they my immigrants that went to my allies? Are they the ones who rebelled and and became independent? Maybe, or maybe they just. Or maybe that was just, like, a faction that was beginning to roil in them. And, like... But if they're humanoid, it had to be... No, like... It had I'm, to be us, right? Well, I'm, I'm looking like... Hu yeah, human. So, like, hu the humans that migrated caused so much trouble that they then... <laughs> that they rebelled. <laughs> and they suddenly have a 3,000 strong fleet. Like oh. suddenly, like oh. instantly popped up. <laughs> okay. That, That's incredible. That was, um, that was something. Wow. I, I don't even know what to say. Is it's, the war still ongoing? It is, yeah. Sadly. Because of course. Born life form encountered. You would think it would be over because, well, I guess, I guess the allies still have more than half of their colonies, but. Yeah. I mean, you'd think they'd be hopefully a little bit more open to negotiate. Yeah. Well, I've already made friends uh, <laughs> with the humanoids, but um, we'll see how that goes. They they're not at war, right? Let me see. I don't. I, it doesn't say they are, unless somebody else declares war on them. They are targeted so by Cassie's bellies, but. Uh -huh. Defensive readiness movement has finally embraced the faction. I see. Xenophobic. Uh oh. Well, that's fine because I'm a human, so they can't hate me. Hyper lubrication basin, huh? Get that lube. Uh, plus one population production speed, or plus one pop assembly speed per industrial district. Plus one percent amenities usage per industrial district. Um, perspective. Oh god, there's so many things here. You know, I'm going to do the do that. That should be good for now. Rapid replicators. Uh, still need the unitary cohesion. There we go. I'm going to research a couple of level eight System anomalies. Survey complete. Ooh, you have the appropriate scientists. Absolutely not. <laughs> They're like They're, level one and level two. <laughs> they are completely unqualified. <laughs> yeah, entirely inept. No, don't let them go through. I'm trying to cut off their navy, but it's not going to work. No. Because that stupid pop-up came up right when I was trying to move. Oh, no. And so I couldn't click on the... Planet. Oh, my God. I Wait a second. What is this? Uh, Forgive us for... Uh... I think we have some traders here who might actually have a good deal. Forgive us our intrusiveness, oh. but we have noticed your planet, uh, Nolan Prime, possesses a unique potential not currently being realized. A uh, vent can be opened to its sacred core from whence the flow of wealth can be can trickle forth. Let us reveal to you the hidden secret of your land. And uh, we will require a uh, nominal re rec uh, renumeration, of course, as always, if you need time to consider. Yada, yada, yada. What is it? Deal. So 200 minerals adds Numa's breath to uh, nylon prime plus three generator districts and plus two max districts. Hmm. Where, what is this planet? What are, what do I currently have them doing? Oh, okay, yeah, so... I mean, having them do more stuff, yeah, that works. Deal. There we go, thank you. More deals like that, please. All right, I've uh, made claims on the Cybrex Alpha, which is the... Um, precursor thing that you, that you had uh, set up. Wait. But... 
I don't know if making claims uh, makes a difference. Well, it just means that when you go to war, you can say that, hey, I'm taking this as the peace deal. Oh, I see. But since they're still my allies, I... Yeah, I you go. just made them hate you more for no reason. I see. Well, that's good. Because, you know, they're my allies, but they're causing so much trouble for me. Yeah. And I was not able to cut off that fleet. Yeah. No. Research complete. God, they've got... Like... Construction complete. What's that? 11,000? Power? Well. And I've got six at best. Okay, then. That certainly... Oh, never mind. They just somehow... Clans of Athol has a 10,000 power army now. Oh. Uh, Navy, sorry. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah. Somehow they just conjured that out of their uh, shipyards, I imagine. <laughs> Gotta keep this PG. Want to be monetized. Right, right. So that's almost a 20,000 power Navy. Complete. You see, can I, can I get Research rid of some complete. Corvettes for destroyers? Is that even a good trade? Yeah, I guess. Why can you not? Oh, God. I've. Oh, God. When I was doing my thing, the AI did something. How do I. Uh -oh. oh, there we go. That's how you do that. I should probably just do this as a. Yeah, That's be... triple the hole points, double the armor points. Uh, that does not seem nice at all. Double the damage. So it's, it's comparable. If I got rid of Corvettes for destroyers, it's. It's like basically the same thing. Mm, yeah. Corvettes are faster. <laughs> so they have better evasion. Yeah. To attack. Oh, wait, never mind. They really have zero uh, shield recharge, though? I mean, do you have shields on them is the thing. They're supposed to be auto best, and I just... I thought I... Oh, no. I just built one by accident. <laughs> Don't do that. They're supposed to be auto best, but they're auto worst. They're right. Oh my god. The uh the allies <laughs> they're trying so hard. They've got <laughs> these little fleets of like six hundred power, eight hundred power. <laughs> like, oh no. Going around trying to try to free System themselves. Survey oh, complete. It feels so bad. It's like good job, dude, but just please give up. You're not gonna win. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm crying for them. <laughs> I I want them to do better, but they're not. They truly suck. Yeah, yeah. And I I the the worst part is that I cannot help them. Like uh, you know I've I've got at most a six k uh navy, but Ugh. you know they're going up against like twenty something thousand. Yeah, what's it now? Twenty two thousand. And then the even worse part is that I can't ally with you because, you know, we can't Spaceball have a federation unless I'm out of war. So. <laughs> Why don't they select the improved reactor booster automatically? Is it just because? Well, because again, reactor booster costs, it makes the ship more expensive. It, uh, it At the expense of being more expensive, it boosts your, your power output of your reactor. If you don't need the extra power, then it's not really worth it because, you know, you're making your ship needlessly more expensive for, like, literally no reason. But what's wrong with having the uh, extra power? Well, like, why wouldn't you need it? Well, it's not doing anything. I don't, I think, I, as I said, back in the day, if you had extra, um, uh, extra power, like excess power on your reactor, it made your shield stronger, but they got rid of that because they re oh. they redid. So now, I mean, it's just saying, hey, you could install new things on here if you wanted to, but like uh, without doing so, I mean, they're just there. Okay. All right. Construction complete. It doesn't make sense to me that uh, they would have something that doesn't do anything, but it's Well, I mean, fine. it's just it's it's all about numbers. You want it as close to zero while still being above it as possible. Gotcha. Artificial moral codes. 
Crime minus 15%. There we go. <laughs> I love the researching like, that next. Yeah, art, artificial moral codes versus actual yeah. moral codes. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so good. So good. God, none of the available agendas actually help me. <laughs> yeah. Maybe open markets. Oh, and my uh, my governor passed away. <laughs> Warren Dixon. We'll do an erection. What? Uh, erect a monument. <laughs> okay, that's not what you said the first time. That's uh, th exactly what I said. I don't know what you said. I don't know what you were thinking about. You realize while I'm editing this, I'm going to have that appear in big text on the screen. <laughs> we'll do it live. Everyone will love it. Oh, we do have a grand storyteller opening for our council. Oh, they're trying so hard. God dang it. <laughs> they're trying so hard. If it, It'd be adorable if it wasn't so sad. Right. I want to help them so bad, but it, if I leave my my own territory, I'm going to die. Like, <laughs> yeah, there's there's no way for me to really do anything. Hey, they're down to nine thousand uh, from this fleet. Yay! But I'm still at only six thousand, so I can't actually com compete with them. Hey, I could go take out this three thousand, actually. Their 9,000 is waiting in the wings, but hopefully I can cut off the, the 3,000 from reinforcing them. Wonderful. Because I, I assume that they're moving. Yeah, they are. To Trunt. That's a word. Hang on. Subjugation request. Wait, is somebody asking to be your subject? Uh, there is a peace offer to the Sidimaton, uh Principality. Mm -hmm. They made peace. Okay. Wait, so did... am I at peace now? I mean, I'll. It should say on your. Yeah, it doesn't say you're uh, you're at war with anybody anymore. I mean, there's a lot of people that have a Cassis belly on you, but you're not fighting. We are too weak to survive on our own in this hostile galaxy. Will the Commonwealth of Mankind protect us if we become your subject? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I will vassalize them. Okay. So, um. For our Federation, do you want to be just like a standard galactic union or a research cooperative? Research cooperative sounds fantastic. Uh, I assume that that means that we will help each other research things. Well, we already have a research agreement, but under a research cooperative, this Federation is leaning towards a technology, uh, a techno, a technocrat, techno, uh, technocracy, technocracy. That's how you pronounce it. Okay. There no problem. No problem. <laughs> Wherein universal truth and unceasing progress are in focus. Base intel in fed of fe on Federation members is set to minimum 50, modified by Federation centralization. Uh, Federation modifier, free and automatic research agreements between all Federation members. And versus a just st bog standard galactic union. Um, the only thing difference are, uh, base intel is up, is up to 60, um, but diverse ethics impose a 50% smaller penalty to Federation cohesion. Eh, let's go. Will you accept it? Research complete. Oh, uh, decline. An uh -huh. alien empire has established <laughs> communications. <laughs> Oh, well, I I could have given it an actual name. What? Yeah, I just and I you, just I just didn't. I just left it as the random name, so it just gave us our a random name. What a shroud witches! They're the people who were talking about the warp. Oh, okay. Um. Okay, so send us a teacher. Okay, so if you um, so if you look up to the galactic, um, the the galactic um, ascent uh, thing, you'll now see a thing with a bunch of stars. Galactic community, not the security. Uh, no, the one to the left of it, gal the galactic information compact. To, hang on, no, I, did. I don't see this right now. You don't. It should be top right. It... Oh, top right, top right. Okay, so uh, now uh, the thing is, right now, because we are so different, because I am a uh, hive mind, and you and our subjects are all different. Okay. 
Mainly, the biggest difference is the fact that we have one faction as fanatic xenophiles, and the other is just xenophobes. So that's the biggest problem we have right now. Okay. So to increase that, what you want to do is uh, assign an envoy. Uh, okay. to, I'm assigning two. Hey, she's actually uh, alive now. Okay, so if you go... Um, okay, there we go. So now, so we'll now start gaining cohesion, and once we get to positive cohesion, we'll start begin. Our federation will begin getting federation experience. Okay. So um, right now we're just at level one. So as I said before, um, everybody in here gets free and automatic research agreements. But if we go up to level two, federation agreements have their research speed increased by five percent. Uh, a, uh, then just the members get an additional 5% on top of that, and you will get one more research alternative, so you get a better chance of finding those rare tacks. Okay. Uh, then, uh, language of science increases, it basically, it just goes up from there, another 5% for research agreements. Then, rare technologies, already unlocked by another uh, Federation member, uh, now ha appear at two times the normal rate. This effect would change from 1% to 2% chance. <laughs> Is that wow. all? Uh, 1%. Um, and hey. then, as well, we'd also our diplomatic weight from tech would increase by 20%. Oh, that's kind of nice. Uh, third level research agreements uh, effectiveness is increased another by uh, by another five percent. Um, during the uh, during an ongoing end game crisis, uh, gained twenty percent research speed. Hey, um, and then, we haven't reached it yet. Though. Oh no no no! Um, and we've also you also get another envoy at level four. Okay. Um, and then at the final level again another five percent on research agreements. So that's up like 10 that's no that's up 20 percent uh again during ongoing crisis another uh increase to research of 20 percent and i mean i don't i don't know how anybody else feels but i feel like in all of these paradox games uh research is king like technology is king yeah if you if you can research if you can get to that highest level of tech faster mm -hmm. then you win uh, and then the final piece of resistance of level five, plus one mega structure build capacity. 